I'm 
guys I thought I would jump in to the final part of this video when I demold the gnome that way I can go over everything at the end if anybody has any questions just let me know in the comments below if this doesn't help you at all but I thought I would go over everything just in case and give you guys some tips and whatnot but the reason why I put parchment paper on this mold is so my straps don't get any resin or any materials that way I can keep reusing them and I don't have to 
buy new ones. So that's the reason why I use the wax paper method is to cover some of the openings on where my mold would possibly leak and as you can see right here it did leak a little bit so that's one of the reasons why I put wax paper on this mold. So I'm, now I'm going to demold everything. Open the mold up. These just pop right off. We don't need this anymore. Now here it is, I'm trying to wiggle my way in. Almost there, just need to get the bottom out. There you go. Here's the gnome all out of the mold. Just break away some of this air bubble trapment. Here is the gnome completely out of the mold. All I did was clean up the top of it from the little air bubble trapment spout where it traps all the air bubbles so you get a nice clean pool. I just cleaned it up with a little bit of sandpaper. Now there is a little bit of a seam going down from the two part mold. It's very fine. It's not like too hard and this will be taken away with just a little bit of sandpaper. And uh, overall it came out super lightweight, um, very solid. Um, it's not going to break if you drop it on the floor. It has nice impact resistance to it. And this is just from uh, doing the rigid foam on the inside of it, making it lightweight. Okay, I just busted out my scale. As you can see right here, I'm going to turn it on. And it is zeroed out. And I'm going to put the gnome on top of here. And it is at, oh, moving a little bit, 10.4, right under a pound. And if I were to do a solid cast of this gnome, um, the whole thing would be solid, but the weight of it would probably be at least three pounds. Now, for some of you who are not experienced with mold making or doing casts or have very limited information, if I were to do a solid pour, pour of this, I would waste a lot of material and it would be pretty expensive in resin. And that's the reason why I do two layers of resin and then I back it up with rigid foam. Like I said, it's super hard, uh, super rigid. If I were to drop this on the floor, it wouldn't really crack or anything. And it's lightweight. And once I put this on the gnome stick bat, it won't be as top heavy. And it would be pretty lightweight overall. Um, next video will be me painting this gnome and cleaning up the seam a little bit with just a sandpaper just before I paint it. And Hopefully you guys will like this video and I will have more videos just like this so stay tuned for part 2 and then part 3 I'm making Apple's gnome stick bat.